Hey, welcome back to another Turbo Talk. I'm Turbo. Yes, uh, I'm sitting in the green room. I was just wanting to, I just want to do a real quick one if I can. I don't know, but I just want to talk about my water capturing. I mean, I, I don't capture near enough yet, but we are getting better and better at it all the time. But I'm capturing water everywhere. So here we go. I'm in the green room. This is our. This is our rain barrel that we got hooked up. It comes off the downspout. It comes off the gutter. All right, and so that gutter is not nearly as active as it was when we installed it. But if you can, if somehow or another, if you can look through my window in here, whatever, the rains and the water still come down to this gutter enough to fill this bucket up, enough to sustain well the majority of this room. In the summertime, when when there, when there are there is no rain, this room suffers because we got to go ahead and you know and use other means. But uh, but that's uh, that's one rain barrel. Okay, and I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna show you the rest of the rain barrels. All right. Right. This one is not really a rain barrel. This is just a barrel that we fill up when with city water. That's the city water line, whatever. But these other barrels are. Yeah, yeah, that's a rain barrel right there that I capture water in. Whenever it rains, it fills up. This has been one of my, this one and the next one I'm getting ready to show you. All right, I'm going to take you out here in this other room out here. And this one right here. Yeah, I've used a lot of the water today. I use a lot of water today, but uh, and see that one's in, and this is going to come off the edge up here, whatever. It, it runs right in there. When I get this all figured out, I'm going to have a lot of ways to capture water. I have a lot of ways to capture water all around the property. Um, somehow or another, sometimes you feel like you're, you're, you know, you're cursed when you get a, a hole through your roof. But there's only one time. I, I'm, so every time a hole's come through the roof, I've actually channeled it or, uh, you know, on here. let me go and show you some of that too. But anyway, you know, you can channel it and run it off to where you want to and still capture it or move it away, what have you. But the, the day that I built, the, I, the very first day that I hooped the sun deck, I'm standing in it right now. This doesn't look like right now. And I'm going to show you, this is what I got today. Ah, oh, this is working good. But I didn't have the yurt. I didn't have, I didn't have that yurt looking kind of feeling then. What I had was just basically a big old square and I uh, strung some plastic over it, put two circus poles in it and, and then it started raining that night. I felt so good because it was an awesome room, you know, I took this deck and, and just put a hoop over it. and. I, I woke up at about four o'clock in the morning knowing it was raining and I come out here and one of my circus poles got knocked over and the other one kind of broke and I had basically four or five hundred gallons of water. I had like this great big old uh, 16 by 24 pond above my head. I had to poke a hole in it and I can tell you right now that I didn't have enough five gallon buckets and I worked my tail off that night and I was running water all the way out. It probably took me an hour and a half to get all that water out after I poked a hole in it because it was about the size that would dump in five gallon buckets and they were dumping in pretty fast and what have you. But that's the only time that I really, but that wasn't even a leak. So let's just nullify what I said because I just shared something with you. Uh, yeah, right? But nonetheless, I just wanted to show you just a quick glimpse of how I try to capture water. I'm going to uh, uh, elaborate or maybe I'll just set this video aside and just bring it back later and plug it into some others. I don't know, but anyway, I wanted to capture it. So here you go. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Please send these things off because there's some people that might really want to see some of this stuff. All right, be your best, always, and goodbye.